gonna do it. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video I will show you how well the new version of lossless scaling works. I will try with 6 days in Faluya game first. And here, lossless scaling v3.0 with many impressive upgrades. LSFG 3.0, 2.3 and 1.1 are available. But 3.0 will give the best results. Try with by to mo and resolution scale 100. Capture AP eats to be DXGI. I tried with WGC and GDI but it doesn't work properly. Scaling type can be OFF or LS1, NIS or FSR. Mode option can be left as default. Sync mode should be set to OFF allow tearing, it will give the best smoothness. The smaller the max frame latency value, the better. I'm currently getting around 80 for native FPS. Try by to mode. Lossless is working, but it seems that the draw FPS feature of lossless is not displayed correctly, and the native FPS is higher than the screen refresh rate. And see afterburner shows the exact native FPS I have, which is 69 native FPS, I lost 15 FPS, which is 17% for by 2 mode. The smoothness is perfect. Well, as you can see, the flickering problem is almost completely fixed. With previous versions, even with first-person games, there was still a little flickering problem in the gun barrel. But with version 3.0, the developer has done it very well. This is actually what I've been looking forward to the most from lossless scaling. I will try with X3 and buy from mode. Then we'll lock FPS at 30 and 40 for testing. Come to buy 3 mode. FPS has been tripled, still there is a discrepancy in the FPS display. MSI shows me around 61 native FPS, so I lost 23 FPS, or 27% for by 3 mode. In return I got about 17 X FPS from lossless scaling. And the game is still very smooth, with a monitor with a high refresh rate, you will get a lot of benefits. The flickering issue is still very small, it is difficult to notice it. I believe it will not affect your gaming experience. Let's continue with buy from Mo.
Lossless is working, still have discrepancies in FPS display. I will look into this further. In this case, it seems that lossless is more accurate. Lossless still works almost perfectly with buy from Mo. Good smoothness, no input lag, flickering issues negligible. Now comes the craziest part of this test. With lossless scaling v3.0, custom mode allows you to choose up to x20 mode. D. I still can't figure out what situation I would use by 20 mo in LOL. So using X10 seems more practical. I was getting 88 native FPS before using by 10 mode. Now by 10 it and see the result. Yes, my FPS is X10. I lost 48 native FPS, which is 54% for by 10 mode. Huge loss in native FPS, but now I'm getting around for 100 FPS from lossless scaling, which is insane. One great thing is that even with by 10 mode, my game is still very smooth, and there are almost no significant visual problems. So, if you have enough native FPS, X10 mode will still work fine. Try by 20 mo. I had about 88 native FPS before scaling. And after by 20 mode. I only have 26 native FPS, I lost 62 FPS, equivalent to 70% of native FPS for X20 Mo. With native FPS being so low, there is quite a bit of input lag and visual issues. Anyway, I think if there is enough native FPS, X20 Mo will still work great. Okay. Now you know how well lossless scaling v3.0 works. And here is the recommended configuration for most people. That is use X4 or X3 mode and lock FPS at 40. This is when I locked at 40 FPS and didn't use lossless you can clearly see my game is quite laggy. Yes, and the game is much smoother with buy from mode, no input lag and visual issues. With this configuration, you can use higher graphic settings or reduce GPU consumption, temperature while still having a good gaming experience. Now I'm going to try Red Dead Redemption to end third person view. I will try with by three mode, other settings are same as previous test. I had about 98 native FPS before scaling. And after using by 3 mode, I got 73 native FPS, I lost 25 FPS, which is 25%. The game is very smooth, and it's impressive that the flickering issue seems to have been completely fixed even with a third-person perspective game. 
Arthur's head was almost flicker-free like my previous tests. This is really, really cool. As of now, I can say that lossless scaling V3.0 works almost perfectly. I really love it. To be fair, I will lock FPS at 40 and use by 3 mo. This is when I locked the FPS at 40 and didn't use lossless. Now use by 3 mode. Now lossless scaling is working, FPS is tripled. Notice the difference in smoothness. Yes, the game is smoother and there are almost no visual issues. With 40 native FPS is the perfect condition for lossless scaling to work smoothly. I will try a little with X10 mode. I had about 100 FPS before scaling. After X10 mode, I have 43 native FPS. But I got about 400 FPS from lossless scaling, which is crazy. The game is still smooth as my native FTS is still above 40. No input lag, visual issues are negligible. With 60 Hz monitor, I don't feel the difference when locking FPS at 40 and using X3 mode. Anyone with 500 Hz monitor please try it and give feedback here. Thanks a lot.